OK, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about making skins in Assetto Corsa for any car in about five minutes. So cars that come already in the game that are Kunos cars, you are going to find the templates for them in your Assetto Corsa folder, SDK, Dev, Skin Templates. Here they are, go into one, there will be PSDs there. To extract templates from any modded car or any other car that you might possibly have, you want to open it up in Showroom in Content Manager. Here is Sean Clark's fantastic radical model. You want to click any part of the main body to get up this menu here where it says texture diffuse it should say something like body dds or skin underscore zero something like that click the three dots and then the box that says calculate ao you want to click the 2048 by 2048 map which is the most common size you're going to need once this is generated you want to just hit Control s to save just save it to your desktop or somewhere easily accessible keep the file name the same but you want to save it as a png file that's really important hit save then go and find that file on your computer and you want to just drag that into a new window in Photoshop. This is a PNG, so you can't edit. So you want to select all, uh, copy, then go make a new image. It should be 2048 by 2048 on the clipboard. And it should also be uh, RGB color, not grayscale. Now you have your shadow layer. You want to change the blending options here, just above the layer panel, from normal to multiply. And just get your background layer ready to go. You can just give that a little lick of paint if you want. Here we go. Look. Paint is now underneath the shadows, the shadow layer is now transparent and will kind of shade accordingly. To get your wireframe, it's almost exactly the same process. Again, three dots, body DDS, but you want view mapping and go view in 2548 again. Hit save, again save the desktop, this you can call it anything you want, let's call it wire one. And drag it into Photoshop, it'll line up perfectly. At this point, you're free to pretty much make new layers, paint things however you want, drop stuff in, anything you really want to do. And at this point, if you know what you're doing, all you need to do now is just export this. You need NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter, which will be linked in the uh, description. You just install that plugin for Photoshop. You then want to find your content folder for a set of Corsa cars. Let's go find this. So it's the Radical. Left hand driver working on today, I think. Skins. You want to make a new folder. Let's just call it testing. And now you want to save it what the file was originally called. So it was called just body, but you want to save as DDS. And then hitting save should bring up this menu here, which is your texture tools exporter menu. You want BC3 for the format, everything else you can leave as is. Hit save. Now back in Content Manager Showroom, you select that livery, and there it is. It's it's looking pretty good. <laughs> A really essential tip, I think, is utilizing skin editing mode, which you want to enable. And this now allows you to get real-time updates on the car by using a PSD file rather than the DDS. So let's just go put these side by side. Now I have this enabled. I can do anything I want to this car. Let's make a little blue stripe in the middle of this white stripe. Hit Control S, and you want to save it as body again, which is what the file was originally called, in the same folder but as a PSD. And now it real-time updates, so I can now take that off. Hit Control S again, and it updates on the 3D model instantly. This is the easiest way for doing fine detail work, lining stuff up, or just making liveries really quickly. You don't have to export it as a DDS every single time, but when you're finished, make sure you, you do export it as DDS, otherwise it won't show up in the game. I would highly recommend learning just some basic Photoshop uh, shortcuts, things for example like B will bring up your brush tool, E will bring up your eraser, the square bracket tools will make your uh, brush larger or smaller. If you can't see your brush, it's because you've hit caps lock, so turn that off. You want a uh, control shift N for a new layer. If you want to transform that layer, hit control T. V is to enable the move tool, and then shift is going to move it a little bit quicker, and then without shift, you just move it at a slow pace. If you want to copy what you've done, control J will duplicate the layer, and now all of a sudden you have two of them. Your zoom tool is going to be Z, which is really useful, and then alt to zoom back out again. If you're making custom shapes, I would highly recommend learning how to use the pen tool. So let's go curvature pen, make a new layer. Let's make a nice little swoop here. Once you've got your shape kind of where you want it, you want to right click one of these points, go create vector mask. This is a much, much cleaner way of drawing custom shapes. And it will allow you to edit these points whenever you want as well. Let's see how that looks. That's much cleaner than if you drew that by hand using the select tool on a new layer or painted it by hand with a brush. <laughs> Let's say you've made this stripe and you want to have a little bit of an outline behind it. The easiest way is going to be to go double click the layer to bring up the layer styles. You then have your stroke options. Let's give that a little black outline. 
The color overlay tool is going to be the easiest way to change color of something. It won't bleed out all the pixels. Now the stripe's red. You have outer glow if you want to add like an airbrush effect. If you want to cut something out, I would recommend using just the polygonal lasso. That's probably the easiest way to do things without spending a thousand years doing them. Once you have your selection made, go to the select tab, modify, and let's go to smooth, say maybe five pixels. And let's go to feather. I'm going to say one pixel because it's quite small. Then cut that out, delete the original layer, and you get a pretty clean, pretty clean cutout without too much mess. If you want to paint any other part of the car apart from the main body, the process is exactly the same. You want to select the texture and then generate a map for it and paint it in the same way that you painted the body. It is possible to change the finish of the car, for example, to matte or gloss or metallic. It's a little bit fiddly. You have to uh, find out the texture of what is called the map for each part, which will look something like this. You can download the whole texture and work on it in extensive detail, but honestly, it's not really necessary. The easiest thing to do is make yourself a new small document in Photoshop, something very, very small. For example, this tiny little square, and you essentially want to go between light or dark. Light is more reflective, black would be fully matte. So let's go something almost black. You want to match the name of the texture, so it's just bodymap.dds. It is a subtle difference, but it will change how light reflects from the car. For example, let's just delete that file now and see how it becomes more reflective. Let's put it back. So for online use with your livery, you're going to need a few more files to add into your folder. Firstly, we need a preview.jpg, so press F8 and take a screenshot of your car. Go to your screenshots folder and take that. And now let's just copy that and stick it in our folder. It needs to be renamed preview.jpg though. You then need a small square file which will be for your livery file, so let's just make this blue, whatever, doesn't matter. You now want to save this as livery.png. This will help it show up in the custom manager showroom with its own logo. As you see, that little blue square is now there. The final thing you need is a uiskin.json, which is a text file. You can find that in pretty much any car that's been modded correctly or any base game car. You just copy that, poke that into your file. You can just change some of the details, so let's just say... Actually, we can change the name of the skin. Let's call it something test done. And as you can see, it will now show up in the custom manager showroom as test done. This is now ready to go. You can zip this up, send it off, and then it will be put and used online. That's all you need. Thanks.